Well, Darabuth Van is the man who was attacked and killed with an axe while he was just sleeping on the sidewalk last month. Now, his name is one of 32 people listed as homeless who have died in King County on the streets just this year. Now, advocacy groups, Wheel and Women in Black, came to City Hall today calling for respect and protection for the people who are unhoused. They stand silently on the steps of Seattle City Hall, but their message is loud and clear. We're here every month, once or twice, sometimes for as many as 30 people who have died in a month. This vigil honoring the lives of the homeless who die on the streets of Seattle. They stand for 52-year-old Dara Vuth Van. Seattle police found his body in an alley next to Town Hall Seattle on February 22nd. Detectives say Van, who was homeless, was stalked before he was violently murdered with an axe as he slept in the First Hill neighborhood. His murder, I, get, I hate crime, that impacted the whole community. Because I'm really horrified that a couple of our homeless neighbors have been targeted by people committing seemingly random acts of violence against them for no reason except that they're homeless. King County prosecutors say the suspected killer, Liam Krieger, has a history of violence, even threatening and assaulting his own family. Charging documents, quote, testimony from his mother in 2019 saying this is not the first time he has come in our home while we are asleep and threatened us. It has been one year since he came in our home with an axe and stood over our bed and threatened us in our sleep. Investigators have not revealed a motive behind Krieger's suspected use of an axe to kill Van, but homeless advocates say it reveals a bigger issue causing fear in their community. That we continue to allow so many people to be outside vulnerable uh, and dying so young and unnecessarily is what sends a message to somebody who thinks that it's all right to target homeless people with violence. There were some homeless people up on Capitol Hill who were run over. Makes us all feel targeted. In their silent demonstration, they're calling on the mayor's office for solutions that would offer them protection, like more shelter space and affordable housing. Uh, to the mayor, to City Hall, to the county and beyond, uh, getting enough affordable housing built and accessible uh, is going to take all those layers of uh, participation. Krieger was previously charged for criminal trespass and assault back in 2018. He is now charged with murder in the first degree. His bond has been set at $5 million, and King County prosecutors say he is scheduled for an arraignment on March 20th. Reporting live in downtown Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.